What's up, YouTube? Um, just wanted to give you an update on my solar hot water heater. Um, today I kind of did some insulating. Um, kind of funny, this is a swimming noodle floating thing. It was old and I've just cut it. Um, you can see up in there and then I've got it folded up, but I got that piece fixed. And I had some old mats I cut up and I've tied around there just to give it some better insulation. But um, basically, it's just as before. I've got that all insulated. Um, something that is a little new to on my ladder. Um, I, uh, second. That new panel, um, this is by EA, ASC Solar, 10 watt. It's better. This is a 20 watt panel, way too big. I'm just, my water's moving. I don't have way too much water moving, but not much else has changed. Um, this is basically the cold, and it goes all the way down there, and back, comes back this way. Um, and I just got my connection for now. I use it for something else, and I don't really want to have it permanently there. But if this works well, I will uh, put it there long term. But anyway, I just got some insulation, got some strap just to hold that. I had those strings. This looks a bit more professional. But um, anyway, this is what it looks like on the outside. Um, just to give you an update over here. Um, This right here is the cold, um, this right here is the hot, this is the cold supply for the hot water here, it has nothing to do with the hot water side of it, um, but this thing's vibrating, you can feel it, um, these things are great, if you ever want a good pump for solar hot water, get one of these, they're expensive, but just buy them anyway, it's worth it, um, but let's go inside and take a look, um, Inside, um, this is the other side of that wall. So this is our cold water um, going out. This is the hot water coming in. Goes around here. This is a little vent to get out of air. Also, just to see out of curiosity what the water seems like. Um, and then it goes to my pipes down here. Here's where it gets a little crazy. Um, this is my cold water intake for the hot water heater. This is the output. Right now, I'm taking water from the bottom of the tank, putting it out on the collector, bringing it back in, and putting it into the top of the tank. So, hot as the water from this system is going to the top, I'm taking the coldest and heating it up. Um, and I can switch this off if I need to do maintenance or if anything like that. And then it goes down the wall just like normal. But um, this is how it's working. It's doing great if you look at that. That was at zero this morning, so it's just under halfway. Um, I have some more tweaking to do, but I'm pretty much impressed at the moment. But um, that's basically my update. Um, if you have any suggestions or comments, please um, please leave them in the comment box below. If you like my videos, uh, please subscribe. Um, while I'm at it, I'll just give you an update um, on our solar setup as well. Um, a second. Right now, battery's at 14 volts, 14.2 to be exact almost three. Um, we're putting in just 18, 16, 20 watts. It's basically full. Um, pulse modular width charge controller is basically charging high up, uh, up and down basically just to keep the batteries topped off. But um, for instance, if I go over here and crank up a fan, you will uh, watch it. And it's gonna go way up there to supplement and keep those batteries topped off, which is pretty cool. 100% and our battery capacity is we got just under one amp hour left to put in but the batteries are full that's just because it went off a little bit but um, basically in here uh, not much else has changed inverter, batteries, I have a video if you want to see any more but we're putting in 10 amps um, we got 13 right now putting an eight so it's not even we're wasting a lot of power right now to be honest but um that's an accumulative we that's two days worth it was really cloudy yesterday um but yeah otherwise that's what's going on thanks for watching guys god bless